Well, Jerry and I will go to Group B, and of course, uh, folks just log on to McLean's or into the shops. You get all the odds because the odds will change. In in uh, B Group. Real Madrid, Juventus, Galatasaray and Copenhagen. Real Madrid odds on to win that and uh, they will win that. Yeah, they'll win that group and Juventus deserve to be second favourites as well at 2-1. to one. Real Madrid, you only have to look at their history. You know, the, the history is unbelievable. They've won the, the competition more than any other uh, club in the world and uh, they've got a good side. They've got the, most the two most expensive uh, players in the world playing for them now. Although they're not the finished article yet, but they're going to get better. I think Real Madrid need to improve and they will improve they've got four or five injuries at the moment and uh, they will certainly get better for me and definitely fancy Real Madrid to win the group and Juventus to finish second Jerry, how is Gareth Bale the most expensive footballer <laughs> in the world like I'm, he's a talented lad but he wouldn't make a world 11 Dan Levy is a very clever man he has done some great business there and uh, he's, Gareth Bale's not a striker hardly managed to get 85.6 million pounds for him is beyond me they've done really good business but Real Madrid wanted him they've seen him as a, a, a part of a, a cog and a, a mechanism that's going to make them a, a great side left side it's going to be obviously Ronaldo right side it's going to be Gareth Bale um, down the middle Benzema who's not playing that well at the moment and I think he's not playing well because uh, Gonzalo Higuain has moved to Napoli he's moved to Italy and there's no pressure on him to produce every week so you know those three should get them goals as long as Benzema starts uh, producing it look out for a young lad called Morata who's on the bench and he's got nine goals in seven under 21 Spanish uh, games nine goals he's a real proven goal scorer he's going to make his name this season and he may pop up with the odd goal or two for Real Madrid in the uh, European Championships. And of course it's all about egos you know because uh, uh, Ronaldo then he would have been all upset and annoyed the fact that uh, Gareth Bale is now the most expensive player but then he's now signed the most expensive he contract. Did. He did, he signed a new contract there the other day and, and uh, he's now collecting 17 million euros net clear, that's clear after tax <laughs> uh, a year. So Nearly as much as you John. I, I wouldn't take, would take a cut for anybody. He's on, I think he's on around £328,000 a week clear. So it's not bad business. And what you're saying then too, that eventually then because of the fact that he gets all these goals, he still is, is in the shadow of Messi. In about six months time, they'll come in and they'll give Messi even Messi more money a, again. And, and then Ronaldo will go back in again looking for a new contract. <laughs> <laughs> Throw the dummy out of the pram at this stage. You know, you talk about Ronaldo, last season he, he, he didn't have a great season. He only scored the 55 goals, Logan, you know, <laughs> because the season before he scored 60. So he's a goal scorer. He scores goals. We know all about that where Northern Ireland got a hat trick against Northern Ireland. Um, this guy will be up there with the best. And as long as they keep producing the, the goods and with Modric in the middle of the park and Isco, who's a, a talent, he's a real talent, he's a great buy for Real Madrid. Isco and, and Modric will create chances for the likes of Bale and Ronaldo and, and Benzema. And how they go? They're going to win the group. They're going to win the group and they're one of the favourites now. If they improve as I think they will over the next three or four months under Angelotti, new manager, new players coming in, I think they're going to be there or thereabouts for the final.